the children, grandchildren, friends, and other members of the Omisha Day family stood tall celebrating a well-spent life of their matriarch, Madam Grace Folonrisho Amoke Omisha Day, a woman who almost lived a century on earth, recently bowed out most honorably on that fateful day at the age of 97 years. Preparation was in view for her remarkable birthday, which was scheduled to hold on the due date. However, this was not to be, as she departed these parts in humble submission to the greater divine will. Mama, Grace, for Lonrisha Omisha Day, was a woman of destiny, having lived as the only daughter of her father. Same feat was repeated with the birth of a single boy child, the now grown Muiwa Are, who also maintained that unique heritage with the delivery of a son. Muiwa Are, who is the chief celebrant, got a firm holding of the stake of the Omishade family in lieu of his dearly beloved matriarch. No doubt his siblings gave him robust backing to ensure that he did that final send forth with much that was required. At the Christian wake held, an assemblage of personalities within and outside Ilefe in Oshun State gave the Omishade family a robust support. Huge numbers of witnesses at the wake keep were living testimonies to how the Omishade family is loved by them all. Much more relieving was the tributes given in her honor from few members of the audience who commiserated with the Omishade family. All those who spoke laid it bare that Mama Grace Omishade was one of a kind in her very impactful life and times. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah. S.S. Peter and Paul Catholic Church, Diocese of Oshubu in Lagere, Ileife, Oshu State, was on the schedule for the final burial rites of Mama Grace Omishade. It hosted well wishes from all nooks and crannies of Ileife in Oshu State and beyond. With the processional hymn, the funeral church service commenced. It had a number of those who commiserated with the Omishade family. In worthy celebration of a life well lived, by their matriarch, for whom they all gathered. The celebration of life of Mama Grace for Lonrisho also had all the observation of the form of worship as it is customary of the Catholic Church. In the sermon of the priest delivered in Yoruba language, he said that everyone needs to remind themselves of the certainty of death. He went on to state the necessities every individual should focus on to make the difference before that decisive moment. However, he remarked that having a pact with Christ can only guarantee a fulfilling experience of such. From this view of his, 
he encouraged the congregation to imbibe a good attitude for their own good. But in the New Testament, by the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, death has taken something more glorious. More so when you are partaker in the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Everybody who dies in Christ must also resurrect with Christ. And that is the joy of Christianity that you will not find in so many other religions. The offering session was observed with a choir rendering suitable hymns. This gave way to the list of clergymen who performed the rites of worship before the administration of the Holy Communion, which involved the section of the faithful. Prayers were said for the repose of the soul of the faithful departed, Mama, Grace Omishade, her only son, Mr. Muiwa Are, and other family members before her remains were sprinkled and incensed by the priests. This narrowed down to the Thanksgiving session, which had the chief celebrant, his wife, and other well-wishers in attendance. Mr. Muiware spoken his intention to continue with the laudable projects and backed on by his mother. What more is desirable of such occasion if not immortalizing the memory of a woman who exemplified love without any prejudice at all. The ebony pole bearers, uniformly dressed in native wine ashoki and white attire, were treated to some music by the band as they moved the deceased through the streets in Lagere Ileife to her resting place. At the gravesite, the body of Mama was lowered and the dust to dust was performed by her son and other family members while more prayers were offered for her. Mama, Grace, follow us, Omishade. E we pray le ni wo, wo yo si pada di e we pray le. She go lu ayo gbe di de ni ke ni ojo ni o ko si baba. The reception of well-wishers and friends of the Omishade family was, in the least, a warm ambiance for relaxation for all those present. Having a wonderful mother, such as Mama Grace, from whom the chief celebrant has enjoyed the good things of life, he is in fact the most grateful for such privileges. The music band thrilled the host and guests in its charismatic fashion with suitable music. Most especially folks from the southwest added color to the reception held by the chief celebrant and siblings who enjoyed the warm pleasantries from everyone. Biscan Communications wish Mama a glorious reception in her safe flight to the bosom of the Lord.